September is National Hispanic Heritage Month. A Twin Cities family has a story that took them from a small kitchen to a big business. Kathy Cruz Gooch and her family have a secret recipe for making tortillas. But when Cargill and McDonald's found out about it, the family's tortillas were no longer a secret. John Lorson shows us how Kathy's family is living the American dream. As a little girl, I worked side by side with my mother, and her recipes were inspired by my grandmother. Kathy's grandmother brought those family recipes with her when she came to Minnesota from Mexico in the early 1900s. More than a century later, one recipe in particular has stood the test of time. I remember tortillas always being the foundation of all our meals and our bread staple. But Kathy never imagined making tortillas would lead to major business. Neither did her husband, Harold. When I grew up in Duluth, we didn't even know what tortillas were. In the mid-80s, the couple saw a need for authentic Mexican food in the Twin Cities. So they began bringing tortillas to the people, even while they worked full-time jobs. First friends and family took notice. Then came the retailers. I was the key salesperson, and I would go out and sell tortillas to local grocery stores, one case at a time, and the business evolved from there. Did it ever. Their big break came in 1991, when they caught the attention of a major fast food chain. McDonald's found our product, and they contacted us, and we always say it was a phone call of our lifetime. Cargill also became a partner and helped them launch their food processing plant. And this flour dump station here has 300 pounds of flour in it. Today, Catalina Mexican Foods makes more than 4 million tortillas in a single day. If you've ever had a McDonald's breakfast burrito, there's a very good chance Kathy and her family made it. We always like to say there's no tortilla like it. These beautiful toast points that are on the tortillas add flavor. From a tiny kitchen to what you see now, recognition and awards have followed, all thanks to a family recipe. But for Kathy and Harold, the real reward is watching their children take their dream and run with it. I think that's probably the most satisfying for, for Kathy and I, uh, to see them come in, step up, and start to take things over a little bit. To this day, it's really a dream come true, and we are so blessed to have our family involved in the business. In Egan, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. In addition to McDonald's, Kathy's family sells tortillas to supermarkets under the Frescados brand, and they hope to open another factory in the future. That's what a great story. story. I know. Congratulations. Yeah.